hello guys and thank you so much for tuning in to my youtube channel i really appreciate each and every one of you my old subscribers i really really uh want to thank you because you are being supportive guys i really appreciate your support very much my new subscribers i appreciate your support as well and i want you to keep up with the vibe here we talk about positive vibes only we are freelancers any is my name others they call me any famutuma it's okay so any famutuma talks about online teaching i talk about surveys i talk about uh translating transcribing subtitling captioning and transcribing all those online jobs that you can think of which are done by freelancers because if you are here i assume you are a freelancer or you want to be a freelancer so today i'm going to talk about transcribe me audio one which talks about uh social media digital marketing and so on i think a lot of you you know it start with i do everything i do everything that's how the audio starts so if you are here you have that kind of audio you have to to listen to what i'm going to say guys i'm having a problem with those people who are coming to me and say any i did everything you said i, I copied everything you 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 have done in the video and to my surprise i failed twice guys if I fail this test, I'll tell you, and those who have been following me, they know that I don't give you information and I, 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 I am not that bad person who give you the information, which I know I failed. If I fail, I tell you that I failed so that you can have the transcript and do your edits because I know that one which I failed, other people, they need it and they do their, their their corrections or their additions i don't know they they just correct the, the the transcript it will be easier for you to correct someone's work than to start on your own but if you are here and you don't uh you skip some parts of my video you rush to what you want and sometimes i put a disclaimer in my videos like guys this video you must note that i fail and on most of, of my video, which I pass, if I pass, I pass. I'll tell you I pass 100%. If I fail, I'll tell you before you start the test so that you can continue with the test or you can stop taking the test. So if you skip that one, which I fail, and you come complaining, that's not my problem. If I pass and you fail, still, that's not my problem. But my advice to you, let's say you, you watch my video, especially the one which I'm putting today, I know I passed. So if I put it today and you fail, I advise you to seek the second opinion some way. Because if you fail again, you come for me, of which I, 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 I won't like it. Because I'm trying to help you, and for you to look for me, you want my help. But if I can't help you, I think it's better for you to seek second opinion somewhere. To check whether it's you or it was me, I don't know. That's the best way we can solve this situation because sometimes I can have a video and other people say, thank you, Annie, we passed. Thank you, Annie, we did this. It was okay. And someone will come, I tried everything you said twice, but I fail. And sometimes that video will be like 100% pass. So I don't know what to say to you. And I, I got a video which doesn't have a lot of views, which I was teaching people on how to avoid transcribing errors. Sometimes you are doing the same errors, but you are ignoring that video. The video link is on top. You can check the video before you start transcribing. Number two thing which I want to talk about. I do have those people who are still new in this transcribing game. They don't even understand what is transcribe me. They don't even understand what is transcribing. Guys, right now I'm doing a series for transcribe me. Transcribe Me is an online company which gives jobs to freelancers who want to be transcribers. So 
Transcribing is listening to an audio and put it into writing. You don't correct anything. You only correct what you were, what you were told by the guidelines to, to correct. If you are not supposed to correct, you don't need to correct anything. Just write what the speaker says regardless of his grammar being broken or what. Anyway, if you want to be a transcriber and you don't know, or maybe a transcriber, a transcriber, you don't know where to start, there's a link here or in my description box, and this link will lead you to the test, which is the entrance test, how to apply, how to do everything. You need to check it out. I'm going to put two links. The first one, which did have the answers before October. Because transcribe me, uh, just update their website and change the test from time and time again. So the one before October, it explains everything before the test. Then the one for October, it has the test for October. So I'm going to put all those links, which are two links. Then after that, you do your audio one, you do your audio two, you do your audio three. You have to check for those audios and their answers from my youtube channel or maybe from other youtubers still it's okay because you can check other youtubers still they can have the answers you need you can check my youtube it's okay you can still find the answer but remember to understand the guidelines if you don't understand the guidelines check that video which i mentioned which gives you some guidelines on errors not to make when you're a transcriber anyway guys today i talk too much so i'm going to leave you watching uh audio one which talks about social media marketing it's like a uh, digital marketing i don't know she talks about that those who are doing this audio knows the audio so guys i passed this audio follow every step don't miss anything have a great day bye See you next time. Remember to subscribe. I do uh, a little bit of everything. Do all the posting and management for our social media, LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, primarily, and YouTube. Do a little bit of amateur video production. Um, we don't usually contract that out. We do that in-house. So I do some of that. Digital marketing in terms of we contract that out. We do that in-house. So I do some of that. Digital marketing in terms of email blast and that kind of thing. Newsletters. I put those together. Of course, any like printed materials. I also design and write that information as well. And our displays, things like that for conferences and events, I design and create those. Reels, I also design and write that information as well. And our displays, things like that for conferences and events, I design and create those. So design and write that information. In terms of do a little bit of amateur video production. Um, we don't usually contract that out. We do that in-house. So I do some of that. Digital marketing in terms of email blast. In terms of email blast and that kind of thing, newsletters, I put those together. Of course, any like printed materials, I also design and write that information as well. And our displays, things like that for conferences and events, I design and create those. Um, let's see, what else? Any type of event, I usually facilitate and organize those. Our CRM tool management, I do that as far as our, um, yeah. So I think that's kind of a general overview. Well, great. Good to know. I want to get a, your sense. I want to get a, your sense for what you're seeing. Maybe it's through social media activity or whatever, what you're hearing from customers. Like what's, what's interesting about the category right now? What's exciting about it? Are there things going on that they're particularly interested in or excited about? I think probably the thing that everyone would say is electric. I see a whole lot about that, just discussion and that kind of thing. Either loving it or there are quite a lot of haters out there as well. You're on one end of the spectrum. You're either super excited about it or you think it's absolutely horrible and, um, on social media and in like uh, school bus fleet, school transportation news, those types of publications. It seems like that's what everyone wants to talk about.
I have noticed that, especially with electric coming out, electric coming out, we have not seen as much content about diesel. I, I just don't see much about diesel in general. Either way, it, no one really talks about it much anymore. I do see where Thomas occasionally will do some things about, you know, diesel being still a clean fuel and that kind of thing. But honestly, besides the content that Thomas puts out, I just don't see a whole lot about diesel. Really haven't seen a whole lot about gas either in any of the markets. Uh, it seems like really everyone has pivoted to talking about electric. So that's kind of what I've seen thus of it. And I see you've got Julie behind you. Have you guys sold any Julie buses? Yes, we have 50 here in Virginia, looking at several different onesie twosie. Different onesie twosie orders through some grant funding and whatever. There will probably be another 30 to 40 in Virginia here in Virginia here in the next year or so. So yeah, we've got quite a few. And have they all come from Sunny Merriman? Yes. Are those all being are all being are they at like in use many of them so that was part of the uh, dominion energy electric store dominion energy electric school bus program dominion chose us as their chose us as their so that was part being are they at like in use many of them so that was part of the uh, dominion energy electric school bus program Dominion chose us as their dealer partner for those uh, buses that are part of their, you know, program for B to G. And for B to G, they offset the cost for the school divisions, that kind of thing, and also the program. for the school divisions, that kind of thing, and also funded the charging infrastructure. So we delivered those 50 buses starting in November of 2020, and we just finished up delivering them. I think we delivered the last one in May. We have had several running on the roads in Virginia. Some of some school divisions have been more kind of ready to jump on board, start using them. Um, yeah, some of them were waiting for the new school year, but a lot of them are, yes, operational in Virginia. What are you hearing about those that are in service? Yeah, so we hear a lot of positive feedback. Of course, we are also we are also working through um, several issues um, with them, which I think everyone expected with them being a new bus that there would be issues. Um, feedback gotten from drivers, especially, is very positive. The drivers have been very pleased with them. The bus in general has gotten a lot of positive feedback. We get more negative feedback regarding the chargers. There has been a lot of like headache as far as making the chargers work and constantly seeming to break or mm. kind of freak out, not act right. 